ADHD. In this video, we're going to look at the term, the cause, some symptoms, and the treatments. Even the effects of ADHD or attention, hyperactive, deficit hyperactivity disorder. The first term of ADHD, that is the correct term because ADD is an outdated term but people still use it. It's no longer from 1880 to 1870 but still ADHD and ADD still are sort of the first use of ADHD is off is in 1802 by British pediatrics, so George Frederick Still. The term ADHD always changes, so we have to keep up updating it. The term ADHD D comes from the DSM-3 in 1987, where they used to describe ADHD as a hyperactivity dysfunction. Now it's hyperactivity disorder. There are three types of ADHD. There's the prominent intensive type where ADD is concerned. Then there's the one that we think of, of ADHD is the hyperactivity one. Then the third one is combination where you take the inattentive and the hyperactivity and you put them together. Just the combination of that. The inattentive one is a form of hard paying attention. This one intended more girls who have ADHD are more likely to have this one. That's if they are get diagnosed. They have harder time finishing a task or organization. The hyperactivity or impulse, this one, if you might see in the boys, because the boys might present it, but that does not mean the girls can't present it, just more evidence that shows that if a girl shows ADHD, she's, boys are more likely to get diagnosed. So... The hyperactivity is the form that wants to fidget, it gets in trouble, talking longer than you're supposed to, yoga time and homework, and traveling, listening, and drowning out distractions. And the combined is just the combination of both of them. But Let's say you were a kid and you had the hyperactivity part. This doesn't mean that as a grown up or as a kid, you can only have one. You can grow into the impulsive and intensive hyperactivity. The causes of ADHD are a few causes. The myths are you can cause ADHD by eating too much sugar, bad parenting, environmental risks, factors such as poverty and family chaos, or watching too much TV or social interaction. Now, that can make symptoms worse. But how you get ADHD is more likely 
a injury to the brain, environmentary risks, such as, let's say you were exposed to lead. I don't know. The pregnancy, you might have some tobacco or alcohol, premature delivery, or family history. It's your more likely I so I don't know why that it's more likely that dad will have it but most likely parents the symptoms is a little bit weird because it's based off of the ones that you show the intentive the hyperactivity or the combined one the combined one is just both of them so what is if you have an impulse, what is it? Well, you have a sh short attention span and lacks attention of details. Disorganization, not listening, avoiding focus driven tasks, disability, and forgetfulness. The symptoms of hyperactivity is the Fidgeting, often giving up while sitting, running, climbing at an important time, trouble playing with uh, quietly, except talking and <laughs> time interrupting and may have a short temper. There is some treatments that we can do in the school system, in our home, we can provide support, behavioral therapy and we can go on medic we can provide medication or some exercise we can do all that t together or you can just use it alone if a child has adhd and under diagnosed they can have a harder time at school because they're they don't know their brains the children in their class might don't know their brain and might bully them. If you expect your child that has ADHD, you can go to the doctor and they might see a psychiatrist. But these problems need to be like throughout, like since early childhood. Problem with attention, hyperactivity, or impulse are not developed appropriate for the child age behavior since they were really young, and also no other health effects or issues will cause it or a learning disability. Many ch children who have ADHD might have a learning disability it's kind of like their buddy <laughs> such as dyslexia that's ability to see words but mix them up but if the ADHD is not treated so it's like having apps on a computer or apps on your phone Let's say you're reading an article on your phone or your tablet or whatever. Normal brains can switch in to, out of these tabs. But ADHDers, we tend to leave the tab open. Think of a door. Information is coming both ways. And ADHDers, we leave the door open. Because our brain is not really meant, we're trying to take everything in. Normal brains, they can block out the bell. They can block out people in the classroom. But the ADHDers can't. So, that's it. I'm running out. So, myths are around, like, it's not a real condition, it is. If you want more information and more about 
name, please go to the YouTube channel, How to Eat HD.